Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're going to talk about the uh, solar shadow, sun path, direct sun hours and other things which is coming with the ladybug. This is a plugin for the our grasshopper. So today we're going to use only rhino and grasshopper and later on I will show you how you can export all of this data to the Revit by rhino inside. Let me will do the overview of this uh, plugin of the for the grasshopper. I mean the ladybug. Uh, this will be a small review, and you will get a faster result in this tutorial. Here is my new uh, Rhino document, so here as you can see nothing, just empty project. Uh, the main thing I'm using the millimeters, um, if you don't using the millimeters please use it, it will be easiest for you. Uh, how to install the ladybug, uh, I will leave uh, the instruction uh, below the video, just go there and you will see how to install it, I not will spend your time. Let's straight away go to the grasshopper. Uh, you already should have the uh, ladybug installed. If not, as I said, go below the video and there you will find the link how to install it. Okay, once you will uh, open your grasshopper, you can find the ladybug here. Uh, ladybug comes not only, uh, it's not standalone, I mean, it's not only the ladybug, it's coming with HSB energy, uh, radiance, and uh, honeybee also. It's coming with the ladybug too. Uh, first of all, what we need, uh, if we want to uh, get our uh, sun path, we should get the data. You cannot just place somewhere the point and say this is our sun and we want to get the data from there. We need the data from the internet. So first of all, I will show you how we can get this is data. Uh, let me will show you, for example, here is the website, uh, weather data. Uh, you can use any region, for example, we can go easily to, for example, downloads. Uh, let me show you. You're just going to downloads and, oh, sorry, not downloads, the weather. We're going to the weather and we should choose our region. Uh, the problem is the data we have not for all the cities. So here, I mean, on this website, you can find other website where it will be. But uh, for me, it's pretty enough. I'm using the, for example, the Europe, and uh, from the after the Europe, I'm going to, for example, to the my country, Russian Federation, and I'm using, for example, the my existing city, right? And here you can see download all. So here's all this data. We don't need download everything, anything. We need just right click on this button, and we need copy the um, link of this button. Just copy it. Once you will copy it, so go back to the uh, grasshopper, go to the parameters, here you will find, for example, the panel, place the panel, double click on the panel and just paste it here. You will get information something like this, just be careful with that. Here it will be like website and after all you will get just all. So it means you can, if you will go to this website, you will download all this information. Okay, this, this is finished. But after all, we should uh, somehow use this data, right? So for that one, we already need our uh, ladybug. Let's go to the ladybug. And here you will find, for example, ladybug download uh, weather. Let's use it. And uh, once you will place it, you will see here is the weather URL. URL, it means the your website where you get, where, where you uh, transferring your information. Also here you have the folder. Folder is already instance data, I mean the local data. If you will download this data to your PC, you can connect to the folder. But we will talk only about the your uh, URL data. Let's connect it to the weather. As you can see now it's working. Uh, and as you can see, it's a sorting type of the file, like e EPV, start file, and other one. Uh, if we'll go back, you can see here the EPV data also here, have end state data also here. And uh, this uh, plugin automatically will sort all of this data. Okay, once you will do did that, what we need next? Next, we need to uh, import our location, so it's here, ladybug import location. Once you will do that, connect EPV file to the EPV file and here is your import uh, data. Let me will go back to the Rhino because you will see now immediately here what's going on. Uh, 
Okay, once we did that, now we need somehow import this data, visualize it, right? So we need sun path. Let me go to the visualize data and you will find here the sun path here. Let me will place it. And uh, now we need to just easily connect location to location. And finally, you will see, you will see this is sun path on your site. Okay, as you can see, here is your, our sun path. We can see all this information here and this uh, city, which is we using as the mm, local data. But main question uh, right now, if we will have, if we look on this uh, scheme, we cannot see where is our sun exactly right now. This is why, or actually, this is why it's going uh, like that because we not uh, give any data about the sun. It's here the hours, and we need connected. So it means uh, where is our sun right now? We should show for our uh, ladybug. How we can do that? We need uh, analysis for now analysis data and you will find it here analysis period and calculation hour the difference between the first and second variant the second variant uh, calculating only analysis only the one date exactly the date which you will choose for example let's choose it uh, let's say this is, will be july 7 of july uh, let's type it and let's connect to the months and after that we will choose the date let's say it will be 25 of july let's connect it uh, and after that we need of course the hours and min minutes let's say the hours it will be 12 it's uh, midday and the minutes it will be zero so it's exactly the mid of the, the 25 of july and let's connect hours to the hours now you can see exactly where our sun will be at this date on our analysis as you can see this is uh, exactly on the middle and once you will change the months you can see uh, how the sun is changing the rising I mean on the July it's the lower side uh, I'm using now Moscow City this is North uh, City and that's why and the July on uh, the January it will be on the lowest part in the Australia it will be high point one so uh, if you, for example, think it's 34 day, it's of course not will be work because we don't have uh, 34, uh, we have only 31 uh, it, and this script not will be working. But this script, uh, I mean the hours or day work, working only for the one day, one single day. We need to calculate uh, not only the one day, I want to, for example, calculate whole day. For that uh, uh, way, we need analysis of period. And uh, as you can see here, the start month, let's use the 7, again it will be July. And uh, here the start date, let's say it will be also 25 uh, of July. And now, as you can see here, start hours, we can leave it, skip it just uh, as it is. And we have here the end month, let's connect the July. And end day, it will be 25 of July. And as you can see, now we will connect, calculate all day of 25 of July. And let's connect hours. Now you can see the point, which is it's our sun, in each hours on all of this date. So we will get all of this data for all of this date. Once you will change the date of 24 of July, you can see how the sun is changing the path. If you will change the months, of course, you will see uh, highest point of our sun on each uh, month. So this is really helping us to get uh, more better analysis for all the day. And now to uh, better understand how it's working, we need some geometry. I not will use any uh, type of geometry in Grasshopper. Let me I will create uh, directly in Rhino some geometry. Let's use the box. It's easier to create a 3D object in Rhino. Let me will create one more. And let me will create one more just. Uh, if you don't wanna write again the box, just use the space bar. And let's place it somewhere here, like inside. And we will change the type of the view, let's say to the shaded one. Now we can see two type of geometry here. Okay, so we have the two geometries and we wanna get like some sun analysis of that. But before we will do that, we need um, somehow to uh, place, uh, take this geometry from the rhino to the grasshopper. We'll double left click and just write geometry. And you will get here the geometry. Let's copy it two times 
because one will be one geometry, another one will be another geometry. It's just to showing you how it's working. Right click on this and say set one geometry. And let's set. And let's use the same thing here. Set geometry set. Okay. Now I want no want to see any geometry on this screen. Uh, or no, for now let's leave it. Later on we will uh, hide it. We have now two geometries as you can see. It's here. And now we need to uh, get some analysis of that. For that one we need direction. Okay, direct sun hours this one. So what we need? We now need to connect our vectors vectors from our sun to the vectors to direct sun hours. Let me will connect it vector to the vector. After that we need geometry. Geometry is here. And context it's uh, for example it's uh, the buildings around your geometry. So let's say this is building will be our context. Let's connect it. And after that we need a few more things like uh, grid size because uh, when it will be calculate uh, the mask we need to create the grid of this mask let me create like two meter grid let's connect to the grid and after that we need to offset from our geometry let's say it will be 40 let's say and let's connect it once you will did everything we need just run it to the run it we need the boolean operation let's write the bool and here you will find the bool toggle Let's connect it to the run, just double click and wait. And as you can see, we get some information of that. It's not so properly right now, uh, but I will show you how you can uh, show it more better. Just hide and show objects. Let's select all objects and let's hide it. Let me will hide it. Oh, yes, working. And as you can see, we hide our object. And what we can see, here is our uh, environment, here is our building, which is, uh, we're doing research of this building. And here we have, for example, uh, the part of our building where our sun, it's not always the shining, let's say. Uh, as you can see, some hours, it's not enough. Only the roof, it's uh, have uh, the perfect result. But other side, as you can see, not. And this building makes it more worse than it's around. Uh, if we'll, for example, change the uh, position of our of our environment, let me I will unhide everything, and I will change the position of that. If you don't have the gimbal, uh, just make sure your gimbal is on. It's here. If you not don't have it, as you can see, I cannot move it easily. But if it you have you have the uh, re, uh, you have the uh, chance to change it. Let's me I will change it, and as you can see, it's immediately changing our right uh, uh, our um, type of them. If I will, for example, make it bigger, not like this. Uh, I mean, by this one, and it's changing also here. Let me I will make it bigger. You cannot see anything now properly. The reason is because uh, we should hide our object. You can easily again select all the objects and hide it. And you will see the result. So this is just a small example how you can uh, use the ladybug. Of course, uh, I, later on I will show you the more things like, for example, do the site analysis, like do complex analysis and everything, other things, and how you can, uh, for example, represent it. If you want to represent it right now, you can easily to do just change your type of the shade to the render it one. It's and it's already will be not bad for your graphics. But later on, I will show you how you can do that more professional, more like an architect. If you want more tutorials like this, just let me know below in the comments. Like this video and share. And see you in next time. To those who watch uh, till this moment, you will get this uh, script below this video. Just go there and download it and use it. Uh, you don't need to create it by your own. Just don't be careful. Just be careful with geometry because if you don't have any geometry on your Rhino, you should create it. Right click and don't forget set geometry. Without geometry, of course, you not will get any analysis. You can see it right now. If I will unconnect it, you not will see anything. Once you will 
uh, create your geometry and connect it, you will get it. Thank you guys and see you next time.